So what is it about these Lego games? The people love them, and they managed to become the definitive movie-to-video game adaptation. While everybody else has moved on to making games in big franchises rather than adapting specific movies, Traveler's Tales has found the magic formula for turning a famous adventure movie into a fun video game. I always knew Traveler's Tales for games like Mickey Mania and Sonic R, but boy did they really find their niche when they released LEGO Star Wars the video game. That's the greatest game title I've ever heard! LEGO Star Wars the video game! I know exactly what it is! LEGO Star Wars soon led to more franchises, like LEGO Lord of the Rings, LEGO Harry Potter, LEGO Pirates, LEGO Marble, and LEGO The Lego Movie. LEGO The Lego Movie Video Game. I want to change my answer for the best game title. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what gives these games such lasting appeal, so let's take a closer look at one game in the series in particular. The best game in the series, LEGO Indiana Jones. Play the music. Playing the music. That's all we can do? The lawyers only cleared us for two seconds. How about something legally distinct? Playing the music! Lego Indiana Jones, the best one. So, I remember this was the second franchise they made into a Lego game after Star Wars. But I kind of thought it was pretty much the same thing as the other ones. It is, but Indiana Jones is the only franchise that makes any sense with this gameplay formula. What do you do in LEGO games? You beat up the bad guys and, and solve environmental puzzles. And what does Indiana Jones do in every movie? Well, he beats up bad guys and... <gasps> every LEGO game is an Indiana Jones game. But only two of them have the guts to admit it. Should I queue up the Indiana Jones parody? Rolling Boulder? No Indiana Jones parodies. They're probably the most parodied movies of all time, and I will not be part of the problem. Okay, so beating bad guys and solving puzzles. That's a pretty common formula. You do that in Zelda. Is Zelda an Indiana Jones game? Yeah, kinda. Oh, okay, you got me on that one. But I won't be 100% convinced until you give me one more parallel between Lego games and Indiana Jones. I'm currently 0% convinced. It's a test! Only a penitent man shall pass. No indie parodies. You chose... poorly. So the other central element of the LEGO games is co-op. They designed them all to be played with a friend, so even the single player gives you at least two characters to swap between. Sure. Go back and watch the Indiana Jones series. He always has a sidekick. Satipo, Marion, Sala, Short Round, Willie, Marcus, Elsa, Sean Connery, Mac, Mutt Williams, Oxley, Basil, Teddy, Fleabag! It's an essential part of the movies that doesn't get mentioned very often, but there are very few moments in this franchise where Indy is all by himself. Just like us! Can I be short round? Let me practice. <gasps> Don't do a short round voice. Oh, because no parodies? There are just a lot of reasons you cannot do the voice. Other LEGO games are full of moments where a character faces a challenge alone. And also R2-D2 is there. LEGO Indie is able to mostly avoid this, because the co-op element is baked right into the source material. I'm now 100% convinced. But it doesn't really get us any closer to figuring out why these LEGO games are so beloved. Doesn't it? No! Pay attention! I mean, wouldn't it be way better if you were looking at Harrison Ford's smolderingly handsome polygonal face? Well, no. LEGO Indy came out 16 years ago, and it still looks exactly the way it's supposed to. Other games with realistic graphics didn't fare quite as well. But I guess the main reason LEGO games are so popular is because they're video games. I mean, yeah. The video game. It's right there in the title. I mean, they're video games that know they're video games. Because they're based on a toy, they're free of the curse of cinematic games. You know, those games that want so badly to be movies. That's true. That latest trailer for the new Indiana Jones game was like 90% cutscene. I mean, the gameplay looks really cool, but that's a lot of cutscene. And all the while, LEGO games continue to be fun, approachable, video gamey video games. Have you played LEGO City Undercover? That game slaps. 
and they're always finding new great movies to adapt. They're turning Horizon Zero Dawn into a video game. All this is to say that I really want them to make a new LEGO indie that covers all five movies. I want a Dial of Destiny game and LEGO is my only hope. Video games that know they're video games. Software of video games sound like something that might destroy the galaxy. I'd like to study this game further. Could you leave it in the storage bay for me? Just set it next to all my copies of Mega Man 3. I love Mega Man 3. That's the one with Top Man. I have multiple copies. Top Men. I can see now that this was an Indiana Jones parody. I said no parodies. But here we are. It's like the second most famous scene from those movies. The setup was a little contrived, but credit where it's due. She got me.